So one of the big questions I get all the time is, or I even see in a lot of Facebook groups is, do I regret having surgery? So, so hi there, it's Carrie. Welcome back. If you are new to this, this is called, this is a little series on this channel. My channel is VSG Life Skills, but this is a little series that I call Ask a Loser. It's just me being informal with you, just answering your questions in, in the best of my ability. I am a certified life skills coach, but more importantly than that is I have had bariatric surgery as well. I've lost 140 pounds, I'm three years post-op, and I realized early on in my journey that even though I am a certified life skills coach, that I needed skills as well to navigate life, that bariatric surgery was never gonna be a quick fix, and that I needed to figure out how to have a better relationship with food and make this journey more important than the weight is just how to get healthy, and that includes physical, mental, and emotional health as well. So just a little disclosure, I'm not a surgeon, I'm not a therapist, I'm not those things. I am a bariatric patient that has gone through the journey three years now. I want to help others. I would never prescribe you to take my advice just without checking with your surgeon and your doctor. So, But I do advocate for you to be an educated person about your own body, about your life and your health. So let's get into it. I guess what I say is I'm three years post-op, so... Do I regret having surgery? No, because it is what it is. But I do understand that I think looking back that I've realized that a lot of people, myself included, is that you do regret surgery, but at different times, different phases, different stages, at different levels. The whole thing is, is that you just don't know to know when you're in it. So this is a journey and it's a serious decision and everybody's different though so everybody's body is different like I will have a different medical history than you um, you know gender plays a part age plays a part genetics plays a little bit of a part your program pays up plays a part um, are you vitamin deficient are you dehydrated all these things play a different part so everybody loses weight differently. Some are slow and steady, some are fast and furious, and some many many people have multiple stalls and plateaus along the way. It's, it's just not a straight line, it's a journey. So the whole thing is is that you get into these transition stages and phases and you don't know to know and like things are happening, right? You have feelings that you never had before, things are getting triggered, emotions are getting triggered, your hormones have been disrupted, you have different like pains or even just twinges or sounds or you react to this certain food or you don't react to this certain food or your taste buds have changed or you do have complications there are people that do have complications and severe side effects and of course they regret the surgery now a lot of us do have some side effects for a little bit of time it's just a journey. It's really a journey of self-discovery. So sometimes people regret at certain stages, certain phases, because they just don't have enough time. You just don't have enough time. Like you're when you're in it, you're like, what the heck is going on? And yeah, you might regret. So some I did some research. I actually contacted and researched 10 um, bariatric, different bariatric programs across the US. And so I wanted to see what they were mentioning and people that were involved, um, patients that were involved with them, like what was the biggest regrets that people were saying to them um, post-surgery about having bariatric surgery? So I have the, I think it's, let me see, uh, it's 10 or 11 biggest regrets. One second here. So here are the, the 10 biggest regrets. Are some of these that you experience or resonate with? Not being able to enjoy food. So at the very beginning, post-surgery, yeah, you're still in those food phases. Some of us have to do liquid diets post-surgery. Then you go to pureed, and then you go to soft, and then you go to solid. Sometimes it's a texture thing. For me, it was a texture thing. Um, but sometimes you just, you know, your biggest regret is you can't enjoy food. Now for me, I'm not talking about you, maybe this is with you, but one of the biggest regrets is like sometimes I have to say it, which is a like a, 
emotional thing, um, a food addiction thing probably, a disordered eating kind of situation thinking is that, you know, sometimes I just regret like not being able to have to think about it. Like I just want to eat and just eat whatever I want. But let's be honest, even before surgery, was that the right thing to do? Is that a healthy relationship? I don't know. You let me know. So the other thing is, I'm just going to bring my laptop here. This is, is I regret not learning how to eat slowly before surgery. I know I was told to like, you know, try doing that before having surgery to even try eating slowly. I didn't realize how fast I eat. Like, you know, having a full meal, even when I would be able to eat whatever I wanted, like I would just like, like gobble it down and realize, you know, you got to learn how to eat slowly. Excess skin is difficult to manage after losing the weight. So I knew that um, excess skin, flabby skin, you know, loose skin was going to be an issue after surgery. I knew if I lost over 100 pounds, there were going to be issues. Um, I have come, I personally have come, I have no, uh, you know, qualms about people getting plastic surgery. You know, you do you. If that makes you feel good, awesome. Me, I just knew I didn't want to spend the money on it. I just didn't want to have a major surgery again. So how I deal with it, yes, I have um, excess skin, um, is that I do use like compression garments and like spandex and those kinds of things. Uh, it just helps me feel tighter. But I've just kind of come to accept that. That's just kind of like, you know, sometimes you have a an accident you have a scar and it's like your battle scar this is my battle scar um, for having surgery and I'm okay with it but people that want to pursue plastic surgery you know that's awesome if that makes you feel better uh, another regret that many people have is not not like being prepared emotionally and mentally and I think that's the biggest surprise to a lot of people is that we want to believe or we do think that bariatric surgery is going to fix everything and it just it doesn't um, you still have to lose the emotional and physical or the emotional and mental weight first too even before you can even sustain the physical weight so yes a lot of people regret that they just weren't emotionally and mentally prepared before surgery Hair loss, of course, is a big one. I had two phases, one at three months and then one at nine months. I did have regrowth in between. I cut my hair. I had long hair, like my hair was down to my waist and I actually cut it super short, the shortest I've ever had it in my life. Um, it did look better, you know, cause I was getting to the point where my hair was looking so thin and so brittle and oh, it was just not very nice. So I ended up cutting it super short and it just, it actually looked better. It looked like I had more hair when I had it short. Um, I am in the process of growing it back out because I just, I'm too lazy to be honest to have a shorter hairstyle. I love short hairstyles, but um, you know, it's a hard phase. I get it, hair loss is huge. You know, hair, my hair was one of the things I was like proud of, I guess, um, but it does, for, for most people, it takes time, but it will bounce back. And I think it's probably even, to be honest, even stronger now, because I am, I take a lot of collagen and biotin and all the things, um, but when you're in it, it's pretty scary and I get it. A lot of people say that they regret not realizing how much your relationship with food changes. Um, if we want to maintain weight loss, no matter if we had surgery or not, you're going to have to figure out a different relationship with food. Um, you have to figure out how to navigate life without using food, using food to cope, to avoid, distract, even celebrate. So I think a lot of people regret that they didn't realize that that would change and how drastically for some people it does have to change. Some people say that they regret not having the other procedure. You know, the grass is always greener. Sometimes, you know, that is true that, you know, some people with gastric sleeve find that their GERD or their heartburn got worse. Some, for me, it got better actually. Uh, some people think that the bypass should have been better. So we're always kind of wishing or thinking that the other procedure would have been better. Now, what I say to this is, is that maybe it was due to a complication or a, a really severe side effect that the other procedure maybe would have been better, but uh, regretting it because you think you would have lost more weight or it would have been easier, uh, that I don't agree. Um, that's not a really great way of thinking about it. 
lot of people say, um, and I did a quick poll on my community tab the other day about like what was their biggest regret. And this is what everybody said. Um, their biggest regret was not having realistic expectations. That's so true, right? And some of that is we just didn't know to know. Some of us have never been this thin um, as an adult. And so you just don't know to know, but a lot of us, I, I get it, we all kind of feed into that diet mentality thinking and just thinking like, oh, you know, it's gonna happen, it's gonna maybe be quick, it's, you know, life's gonna happen when I lose all the weight, I'm gonna lose it in a straight line, all those things. So those kind of having realistic expectations is super important if you're thinking about having surgery. And even when you have surgery, you just have to realize that having realistic expectations is just the only way. People say that they regret that they didn't realize that it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It's the way to have long-term weight loss from bariatric surgery is we have to make the lifestyle changes and we have to make the behavior modifications if we want it long-term. Otherwise, yes, you will regain the weight. A lot of people regain all the weight. Um, is that because the surgery failed? Huh, I don't know. You have to, like my big theory is you have to get at the root causes of what's making you eat. Why are those bad habits coming back into place? You have to figure it out. We can't keep using diets and bariatric surgery procedures as a quick fix or as a band-aid and not figuring out the other pieces. A lot of people think, and I know this is a big one, is that they think that once they have the weight loss or once they reach the goal weight, that life is gonna begin or they're gonna be happy. And the reality is, and this is part of the realistic expectations, is that life is happening every single day. And your life just won't start or be problem free or all things will be good and solved when once you reach the goal weight you have to figure that out that mindset as you go along because life is happening every single minute and one of the biggest uh, regrets is that a lot of people regret not having it sooner and people that are successful that have you know they're not it's not just about the goal weight and they've reached their bigger why they're feeling good looking good you know just living life living their best selves um just kind of regret that they never had it sooner so just as I mentioned, I kind of researched a, a few bariatric programs out there and just things that they suggested, surgeons, some of them are patients. These are just some things to consider, they said, in regards to kind of the whole regret in bariatric surgery. It says here, when you decide to claim your life back from obesity, you have to face yourself head on. You will learn that happiness is not tied to weight loss and that's kind of what i mentioned before and that's a big lesson for me is that your happiness doesn't equal weight loss we weight loss doesn't equal happiness uh, another suggestion to consider is they're saying to really consider your bariatric surgeon i have a video on the channel that gives you all the questions you should ask in your first consult but one of the biggest things is that i realize is a lot of people don't like research their bariatric surgeon and they just go in and just there you go and you're asking them to do something very serious and lifelong so you know consider your bariatric surgeon you have every right to research you need to feel good with the team all those things this is your life your body your health so really make sure that your a your bariatric surgeon knows what they're doing look at their track record make sure they're certified um, and and feel good about the team they say that a lot of people say to avoid having regrets is to have a support team. Now that could be a support group, that could be a physical support group, an online support group. There's some really great Facebook group uh, members out there. You know, look for the ones that just want to be supportive and that want to help. Um, and just avoid the ones that just think they have it figured out and just are willing to just slam you and you know like not really help you um but it is important to have a support team and make sure that you can have people that you can talk to be honest and transparent ask the questions and get some of those answers and i'm a big believer in you know therapy is awesome if you need a counselor um but 
it's those people that have walked the journey before you that really know um, and can really, I feel, can support you. Always, like I say all the time, know your bigger why. It has to be more than just losing the weight. It has to be bigger than just your goal weight. What's your bigger why? Why are you willing to make this decision? Um, and what is so important to you that you're willing to make this serious decision? this uh, serious decision of having bariatric surgery because you're not just a patient for you know six months or a year you're a bariatric patient for life so what is your bigger why one of the uh, people patients said nothing changes if nothing changes so i know there's a lot of people that just kind of question you know why can't why shouldn't i be able to do this by myself and you know, I'm scared of surgery or I can do this on my own and they're they're questioning and you should question. It should be a serious decision. You should do your research. You should know what you're getting into. But sometimes we're just scared. Um, so you just got to ask yourself, like, if nothing changes, nothing changes. So that's with surgery or without surgery. So just kind of live in life status quo and you're not happy with it and you're not willing to do anything. Well, things, nothing will change. One of the biggest regrets is people didn't realize that this should be the last time. And that includes like getting at the root causes of things instead of putting a band-aid on, working on your mental and emotional weight loss, your mindset. What are the changes that you need to do? What are some sacrifices that you might do? What are some compromises? Um, all these things, realizing that this journey is a lifelong journey um, and it can be amazing. Trust me, it can be amazing. Is it a lot of work? Of course it is. We were told, and it's true, we're not taking the easy way out. It's not the easy way out. One of the biggest people say to avoid having so many regrets is realizing that um, old habits can creep back, um, that you know can be even normal sometimes, but you just have to learn how to navigate it. Uh, this is just a journey and it's learning and, and keeping moving forward and you might have setbacks. Setbacks are part of the life and that's just how it happens. You have to be able to navigate life. Um, so it's not a straight line as we keep saying. So it's really important to understand you have to like work on habits. Habits don't happen overnight. They, It's like a time continuum. The more time you can be uh, put in between things, uh, the more you can continue to do that habit. So kind of one of the biggest things people say is just, if you're going to invest in bariatric surgery, if you're going to invest in your health um, and you want to be healthy and you know your bigger why, you have to understand that investing in yourself means more than just your weight. And we keep saying that, but the most va valuable self-care actions you can take is making yourself a priority. Um, it's you know, making sure that you're being as healthy as you can, living your best life. But that includes like asking for help, um, understanding that you're going to have to make changes and compromises, but also that, you know, it's worth like embracing the journey. It's a self discovery journey. And I'm a big believer in like learning about your body, learning about your health, taking control, taking control back sometimes. I think this journey can also reflect what's happening in your your other parts of your life so kind of like embracing the journey understanding it's a learning process it's not going to be perfect you're not perfect you don't want to be perfect and just kind of moving forward and just understanding that you know you deserve the right to feel good to look good to be good but that just isn't just about your goal weight so I do have a deeper video on this, on like um, regarding your surgery. I think it was, I made it like a year ago. So you, you're welcome to check that video out. Um, I do have other videos, so feel free to check those out. Please ask me any questions and I will be happy to address them.